tell you what, Guy Fieri would be impressed with this recipe. Um, you got the creamy flavor from the coconut oil. He likes the creamy. And you got the crunch. Mm. And the creamy from the avocado. It's healthy. You got your fat content that he likes so much. You get a little zing from the salt and the German mustard. The Gildan's German mustard. All right. This is an excellent healthy snack. It's going to be low in calories. And when you eat the avocado core, you're going to get your vitamin B17 to get you juiced. Now, why do I say all this now? I'll eat the rest here in a little bit. Mmm. Mmm. All right. Please excuse me. <laughs> That's pretty good. I could have probably put a little more seaweed. I could have put two sheets above each tuna, above the tuna, but that's okay. Now, that was creamy, a little zing from the salt and the German mustard combined. It's clean. It's Torah compliant. All right. And it's very important to know that as we head up on the tribulation, you're going to have to learn to be healthy. You're going to have to learn to eat on the go. Now, I'm a street preacher, among many other things. You've seen a lot of my videos about how I, how I even document how our nation has always been full of pagan idolatry. But, please excuse the hair, it just kind of flops. I'm not vain or anything. But, the tribulation's coming up. What's going to happen when you got to flee to the hills? What are you going to have with you in a knapsack for three days before you come back? Maybe come back down, do rescue missions or whatever. I've, I've had dreams about that and other people have too. All right. It's very critical at this point. We see the sheeple complying with everything the government tells them to do. The tribulation's coming. And when the seals begin to open, I keep on saying it, killing is going to be a go. Killing of true believers. Bounties. How healthy are you going to be today? What commitment are you going to make to ensure your health is full? Now, we're coming up on the Shabbat tonight. I do observe it. And the feast days. Unashamedly. Not Christmas, not Easter. Those aren't in the Bible. All right. They aren't in the scriptures. But, you know, look. I'm at... I, I did this to kind of demonstrate to you that when you donate to M7 Ministries International, somebody donated enough for a webcam because something on my laptop got messed up. Somebody donated enough money for markers. Somebody donated enough money for, you know, fabric, you know, to, so I can make the witness t-shirts uh, bearing the Paleo Hebrew for the name Yahuwah. Who is the father of Yahusha, Messiah, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the son of man and the son of Yah, the son of God as you know him? So please understand that your donations are not going for me to eat at Chick-fil-A wherever I go into town. That food is not healthy, folks. In order to be, do what I do, you have to walk miles upon miles. And yesterday, even despite my, you know... My spider bite, I got up a hill that was a mile long and higher than a 45 degree grade. And that, that elevation changed at least around a thousand feet, I guarantee it. It was a long way, let's just say that. But um, your health is important. That's why they're going to try to force vaccinate you. That's why they're going to try to give you the mark of the beast. Take control of your health. Because the government wants to control you through GMOs, through chemtrails, through vaccinations, through big pharma. I don't take any medications anymore and I never will and I never have to. That's, that's, I'm giving you spirit food for thought and I'm giving you physical food for thought. Up on the Shabbat tonight, Shalom Shalom, Irene, peace. More videos coming soon. Shalom, signing out.